Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Yes, I'm already sweaty. This is the third workout I've filmed in a row. So today's workout is gonna be cardio and core. Like, I kinda of like doing this kind of workout because it feels intense, but at the same time, it targets some of the areas that I feel like I need most work on. So, this one is gonna be 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, 10 minutes. We're gonna be alternating between a cardio and a core exercise. Cardio and core. So, it's gonna be fun. Do it along with me and we'll both be sweaty at the end. So we're gonna go 40 on, 20 off, and the first exercise that we're gonna be doing are some high knees, which is just running on the spot. Let's go. Bringing those knees up nice and high. If you wanna build the intensity, get it up higher, get it up faster. If you're just beginning, just do a nice little jog on the spot just to get the heart rate up and the body moving. But if you can, try and drive those knees up nice and high. Use your arms for momentum. This is where we're going to get the heart rate up to work on some of that cardio for you. Keep going. Nearly there. And rest. Okay, you've got 20 seconds rest while I explain the first ab exercise. We're going to be down on the ground and we are going to do some toe touches. If you can do it with straight legs, touching your toes, great. If you need to bend your legs to do so, just touch your ankles, will be just fine. Okay, here we go. Oh, we're already in for it. Let's go. Okay, feet up, touch those toes. Well, if you need to bend your legs, do so. We're just crunching for 40 seconds. Make sure you're exhaling as you come up to create a bit more space to be able to touch your toes. Gonna be feeling a burn by now. Did a lot of abs yesterday, so I'm already feeling it. Okay, keep going, We're nearly there. And rest. Okay, 20 seconds rest. And while I show you what the next cardio exercise is gonna be, and it's just jumping jacks. We're gonna be out like this. If you wanna take it to the next level, you can do squat jacks where you go like this, and you're back like this. Makes it pretty intense, it's gonna get your glutes and it's gonna fire up your legs a little bit more. More cardio, you choose your level. Let's go. So, you can do beginner ones, which is just stepping side to side. You can do our regular jumping jacks or you can do squat jacks. Keep it going. Keep breathing. We're gonna be going in for another core exercise very shortly. And rest. Okay, our next core exercise. Bicycles. We're gonna be down on our backs. And we are gonna be alternating our elbow to the opposite knee for the 40 seconds. If you find that difficult, you can have you can do alternating sides like so with your feet on the ground. But if you can, try and keep your legs off the ground. So you can have two variations of this. You can do it slow and controlled, making sure you're articulating the movement, or you can get it going quickly. Or you can do a few slow ones, and then move it quick. We can go slow for the whole time. I feel like this gets me, gets my abs burning a little bit more. If I'm slow with the movement, because I'm not just throwing my legs away. But either way that you're choosing to do this, you're gonna feel a burn. And rest. Woo! Right that core one was over. Okay, the next cardio one we're gonna do is a hop, hop, squat, which is hop, hop, squat. Hop, hop, squat, like so. If you find the hops harder, if you've got still want to do low impact, you can do calf raise, calf raise, step it out, and squat. Just keep moving for the whole 40 seconds. Squat, hop, hop, squat, hop, hop, squat. Making sure when you're doing the hop, you're sitting your bum back so that you're getting all the work through your glutes, big chest, looking ahead of you. 
like so. Making sure you're focusing on your knee alignment, direction your knees are going in so you're protecting your knees. Nearly there. One more. And rest. Okay, we've got 20 second rest. And then we're going to go into leg lowers, working those lower abdominals. A couple of ways you can do this. You can either have your legs straight and lower down, like so, or you can do it with bent legs. But the key thing is here, lower back must remain on the floor. So really engage that core. Let's go. So lower back engaged, toe touches, or leg lowers. Making sure that back stays on the ground at all times. And I see you with the hands underneath your bum. That does not count. Hands up to the side, please. Lower back on the floor. Again, if you find it difficult, as soon as your back starts to come off the floor, stop and go back up. Or if it comes off the floor right away, go back to these and really think about back flat. Oh, and just like that. That exercise is done. We're back up for another cardio one. It's gonna be squat kicks. So we're gonna squat, kick, squat, kick each side for 40 seconds. Are you ready? Because we're about to get going again. These 20 seconds go quick. Okay, squat, kick, squat, kick, squat, and kick. Try and get your leg up nice and high. If you find the kick bit quite hard, then you can just do a squat side leg lift, squat, side leg lift. But if you can, you want to make it more dynamic, get your body really into it. Twist, kick, just making sure you do what you can do for your body. Push yourself, but listen to your body. If something starts to hurt, dial it back a little bit. If it doesn't, if it's feeling easy, push yourself. And rest, okay. Next exercise, we have got some tuck-ins. So, we're gonna lean back onto our hands, like so, and we're gonna bring in our knees to the opposite side. It's like a side crunch, but we're kind of doing a little bit of a semi circle with our feet and turning each time. Ready, let's go. In, in, out, in to the other side, driving your heels to one side of your butt, and then the other. Keeping your feet off the ground at all times. Like so. If you need to take a little bit of a, oh, my hands are dying kind of thing, do so, but come right back into it. The more you do these kinds of workouts, the stronger your core will get, the easier they will become. There we go. And rest. Okay, the next on the final actual cardio section of this, we're gonna be speed skaters. So you can either step and sit your bum back or you can hop from side to side. If you wanna make take it to the next level, you can squat and touch the floor. Hop up and touch the floor. So let's go, step, step or hop from side to side. Wanna take it to the next level, big hop. And if you want to go even further, touch the ground, big hop. Really be dynamic. This is your last cardio exercise. So push yourself for this 40 second period. Keep it going. Nearly there. Breathe and rest. Okay, we're going into our final section, this 10 minute workout. Alternating V-sits, <laughs> down on the floor. We're going to alternate for our legs, keeping our hands up, and we're gonna bring one leg up to the other. If you can't do it with straight legs, do it with bent legs, okay? Here we go, let's get to it. So, this is the advanced version, or <clears throat> you can do a slightly easier version with bent legs, but if you've got the flexibility to be able to do it with straight legs, that's what we want to see. We're nearly there. 
We're nearly at the 10 minute mark. But it's actually gonna be 9.40 because we have 20 seconds rest at the end. But let's do it. Nearly there. Keep pushing for that last, those last few seconds. And rest. Woo! There we have it. That was a 10 minute core and cardio. Now if that's the only workout you've done today, check out one of my stretch workouts to go and cool down or check out one of my leg workouts, arm workouts, whatever you would like to try and target next and give it a go. Try and build your own workout from my channel and tag me in any of the videos or photos that you've got of you doing them. But in the meantime, oh, your boy's out of breath. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe, comment, like and all that kind of stuff and share it with someone who might need to do this workout. But in the meantime, I'll see you very soon. Bye.